I'm clicking, I'm clicking. <clears throat> Yo, if anybody's got their window open still, this is the Wizard Foo stream you're hearing. This is the voice. It's not God. This is not God. This is Wizard Foo doing a song bringer stream. <clears throat> Brought to you by your public broadcasting system. Well, welcome everybody. Um, this is day 431, making Songbringer, and today I'm working on sky tiles. Um, <clears throat> there's three different ways of doing sky right now because there's three different ways of doing ground, and I finally found a way to kind of unify them all into one. This is the old, one of the old styles right here, <clears throat> where uh, each one of these ground tiles is actually a block that is merged with its ground, so its background right there, its its vertical face there is the same as its horizontal face, it's in the same exact sprite. What's up, Pedro? Yo, man! And so there's a, there's two other ways of doing ground. There's one is uh, where it procedurally generates a ground texture, and then um, another one is where it actually uses a ground texture for the entire ground. So I found a way to finally unify all those. So that's what I'm working on today. Pedro, how's it going, man? Did you take the job or what happened? You're taking it tomorrow? Whoa, nice. So which one? Oh, one of them pulled out. Okay. All right. All right. Well, congratulations, my friend. And some people are saying it's hard to get a job in the game development industry right now. Not for you, man. Way to kick ass. Right on. So it was that first company you went with. The ones that made you do the, uh, um, that one, what was the task they gave you? So this is what I'm working on right here. First, I'm making these ground or these uh, this you can see these vertical faces here are longer now. It gives a little bit more depth to the existing levels. It makes you feel like okay, this is a giant tall place. Oh, okay, cool. So you're gonna accept their offer. Well, congratulations once again. This is big news. Let's make sure that still looks good. The sky tiles just fell there. I wonder if it went behind at one point. Oh, damn, yeah, they do. Hmm. Gotta work on that. Oh, that's right. The second company was a bejeweled cone. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, nice, man.
Head Hex. All right, so the Z delay, said Z delay was delay plus 1.5. What was delay one plus float height minus Y over float height times one plus R2. <laughs> it's crazy. Boogie, what's up Boogie? I'm working on sky tiles today. So I'm make, basically making it so the sky tiles can look a lot better for um, this new ship dungeon, which has a different kind of ground. So the ground texture for this is different. So I got to create a new system that makes this makes it so I can make sky tiles look really cool. Set delay, let's try two and a half seconds. fine that time. And it didn't seem like it broke anything else. <laughs> okay. But maybe I should put that... Let's try two seconds. Jonah! What's up? Welcome y'all, welcome. <laughs> Did y'all hear about Pedro accepting his job offer tomorrow? That's big news. Okay, I'm watching these tiles closely just to make sure they don't Go behind, oh they did a little bit. Okay, let's go to 2.25 seconds. That ought to do it. <clears throat> yeah, I'll let Pedro tell you about it. Oops. Forget to notice sometimes. All right, come on, slow down time. Let's watch these tiles. Make sure they don't slip behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that was good. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Fix that. All right, next thing. Let's check this in. All right, so <clears throat> what I just did there was I determined that seven tiles is about the right height. Yeah. Seven tiles, this is do, 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 do. Whoops. 
Let's make that 420. 420! Ninety-two, ninety-six. Yeah, so it's about seven tiles worth of vertical face that are possible. So, and close this. Close this one, and I'm gonna make a special sky tile for. Let's see. I can get this opened up. I think we got a really big delay today. Twitch has got Delay City. Nice. Eight ground, or is it eight sky? Eight sky. Eight man sky. You gotta get a job soon too. Where's it, where are you at, are, uh, Jonah? Aren't you are you going to school right now? You are you near the end of your school or what? Okay, so the sky is gonna need to be. Um, Oh, this is going to look totally different than this. Okay, so this needs to be one tile ta ta tall for the first frame. And the second frame could be anywhere from two to five. Or two to six, so that's five. And then the last one is another six. So that's 12 total. 12 times 12 is 244. Okay, so this needs to be 104, really? Yeah, 12 times 12. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, I'm hoping too. I, that's, that's definitely a dream of mine to be able to hire people. <clears throat> Okay, I don't need a timeline right now. All right, proof of concept, proof of concept. The first tile So wait, wait. We got seven total tiles. What's up, Pinko? Oh, you only have your dissertation. Due next month. Oh, graduation is January. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta start looking for a job too. Yeah, I hear you, man. It needs to fail. Uh, or you'll realize it's because you listened to the chat that it failed. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how about I worked really hard all alone to make this game, and realized that it would be way cooler to make it with some friends. Huh? That works too, right? That way it could succeed or fail. So... Let's do a new layer. Actually, a new, new file. If it were 7 tiles, it would be 7 times 12. 
That's 80, is that right? 7 times 12. 84. 84, really? Plus, plus one. All right, nice. That way everybody gets what they want. With blackjack and hookers. Yes. Yes. People smoking cigarettes out of those long cigarette holder things. Okay, there. Now I have a gradient from white to black. Wait, is that pure black? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's close enough. Or Thongbringer. <laughs> yeah. It's a reality. Yes. Reality. Oh, just a reality? Oh, I liked re reality better. But but reality is cool too, I guess. Sound dongs. Thong blinger. Shit, we never thought of that one. Thong blinger, uh, did we? Actually, maybe somebody did think of that. I don't know, I don't remember. Be tazzled. Yes. Hell, I think I could just take this whole thing. Yeah, I could do it this way. Cool. Okay, get rid of this hue saturation stuff. I'm gonna need slices, but not those slices. I need to write a novel to bridge the story. That may be a necessity, a necessity, because there's gonna be stuff happening between the two. All right, so we got 12, all right. Twenty by twelve. All right, there we go. Got a slice there. And this is sixty by one forty four. Yeah, okay, so that one starts like that. Shoot. I almost need to do like a smart layer. A smart layer where I show only a slice of something. Writing a behavior tree system? Um, the, I did, yeah, I got a, I did a t tutorial on behavior trees to learn how to do it myself. This is not the one that I used. This one didn't make as much sense to me. But the one I used was this one here. For some reason, this one made more sense to me. But I don't know. You might find one of those is more helpful. You read the Gama Sutra one? Okay. Well, maybe check out this one.
Oh, and I can show you a little, a little of how this one works. <clears throat> the stream chat's broken? I did just up the... Up. Oh, yeah. It stopped, didn't it? It was all good, and now it just stopped. Ah, <sighs> well, I did just update game show. Could be that. I was, I was nervous to update it. I was like, this might not actually work. Okay, let's get open up behavior tree over here. Here's the lightning boss's behavior tree. Basically the tree, the two biggest things to know are select and sequence. And you could always you could call that something else for your own system or whatever, but select basically just takes anything below it and finds one of them to do. So this select statement here is going to first look at this sequence and go, okay, can I run that sequence? And then if it can't, it goes, can I run this sequence? And if it can't, it goes, can I run this sequence? So that you get the point. So a select basically goes be, goes and tries to do one of its children in order. So it starts with the first child, then it goes to the second child if that one returns false. So basically, the, in, to keep it really, really simple, all a behavior tree is, is each one of the nodes in the tree, or the leaves, is something that can, that can return true or false. Essentially, it's just a finite state machine. Um, so, yeah, so a select statement can return true or false. A select statement returns true if one of its children returns true. A sequence returns true if every single one of its children returns true. So that's the big difference between these two. But using just these two bits of logic, you can do almost anything. It's pretty amazing what well, you can do with just those two, select and sequence. And then everything else is just your own system, however you want to de design things. Um, I have a lot of if statements, and if statement processes its children. You know, like if timer begin just basically says if the timer is at a begin state. And once again, that just returns true or false. Really, really simple. And then if for things like setting timers, this is where it sets the timer to zero. That always returns true. So basically, this the ifs inside these sequences are the only thing that could possibly return false. Everything else is like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's all going to work. Unless, unless, of course, you have some weird situation. Like, for example, if you go... Uh, target or, or vector towards the target you don't even have a target that's one situation where you might actually return false for something like this where you're just setting something um, what's up arcane so let me show you a little bit of the code that actually runs the AI build that behavior tree I hope this is helping if this is not helping or if you, you need some clarification on a certain point definitely let me know um, but basically it just goes into the AI tick so it's as it's ticking the AI system, it loops over every AI component and then runs a behavior for that AI. So far, so good. Cool. So yeah, it just runs that a beha runs the behavior tree for each AI every single time. So every single tick, it's always starting at the beginning of this behavior and going, okay, did I? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? So every time, it's running basically the whole behavior. Um, what the only time that's not running a behavior is if it calls delay. So there, this is when it said this delay 0.5 to 1.0. That's just random between 0.5 and 1. So it just delays that amount of time without running the behavior. So this little bit here blocks the rest of the behavior tree from running for at least a half a second. And then as soon as it's done with that delay, once again it comes right back to the beginning of the behavior tree, runs it from the start. So looking at the actual code for how that runs here in Songbringer, um, stucks, mood, dormant, behavior. Here's here's AI system behave. Um, basically, yeah, see, you can see the very first thing is it runs the delay timer. So if it does have a delay timer, it takes away the delta and returns without running the behavior if it still has a delay timer. So once it's done with its delay timer, yeah, yeah, we've we've established that something's wrong with it. With it, it was working, and then it all of a sudden now it's not. Um. So yeah, behavior. The parsing the behavior is basically just it goes and it 
you know, this is just parsing right here. So this this part is, you know, simple stuff you can you can do. But like here's an example of sequence, for example. This is this is all the code that's necessary to run a sequence leaf or node of the behavior tree. See, all it does is it loops through all of its children. So for example, this would be select, or this, no, this is a sequence. So sequence, this is running through every one of these children here. And for every one of those children, it once again recursively calls this same function, AI system behave, passing in, you know, the current point. And then so th here's the logic right here. Like I was saying, so sequence requires every single one of its children to succeed. That's just done right here. If the, the it doesn't run the behavior correctly, it returns false. Otherwise, if it runs through every single one of these children and none of them return false, then it returns true. So very simple stuff. And then um, I also use this. This is something new I've been using recently as a not type of tree. So I could do something like this, not if timer blah, 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 blah. That would just return the exact opposite of a sequence. So um, basically it would run every single one of these. And as long as all of them return true, it would return false. Um, and then the, and then the other one is succeed, which is just like, um, just like sequence, except it returns true always which is kind of necessary when you just want to brute force a certain thing. But then once again, we come back to the bread and butter here of select. Select once again, it just returns, it goes over every child. And um, as soon as one of them succeeds, it returns true. And if none of them succeed, it returns false. And then, yeah, and then everything else, like all the rest of the code is where the really the deep meaty part of it all comes in. Like this is where it's testing if. This is if rand, and then if if rand, all it does is it just takes a random number, and then depends on how what words you're also passing it, and then it can return once again. All a behavior tree does is just return true or false. So if you think about it that way, it might help a lot. Just returning true or false for every single one of these lines in the behavior tree. I hope that helped. The ticks are interesting. Yeah, yeah, this is all from scratch. No, this is not this is not done in Coco Studio X. Um, they started doing it in Coco Studio X. I think they they added some stuff to like be able to do entity component systems, but it's really weak sauce, or at least it was in three point seven through nine or whatever. It was super weak sauce. It's not something you want to base your whole game on. So um, I yeah I wrote a I wrote an entity component system and and released it. It's on GitHub. And so, yeah, a lot of the actual game code, the gameplay, the everything is all written from scratch for Songbringer. Um, the only thing that's not written from scratch is things like OpenGL and sprites and stuff. The sound engine is FMOD, so F, you know the sound engine is also not written from scratch. But as far as the actual game goes, okay. So we got one tile there. Now this one I want to do, we could have one above it. Oh my God, this one is just the same. Only it doesn't go all the way down. It does help? Cool. Yeah, you're welcome, man. You're welcome. Yeah, good good luck on writing yours, and um, I definitely am going to be looking forward to seeing it in action whenever you're willing to share it. I think I just want that 60 tall. So that excludes the top because the top is already done. Yeah. And then the, I don't want to do the very bottom because the very bottom will always be done by the last tile. So yeah, it's just 60 pixels tall. 20 wide. Oh my god, don't tell me game show. 
Good thing I saved the last version of Game Show, because seriously. Whatever. Yeah, wait, no, Game Show is fine. Oh. I feel like I need a faster computer sometimes. Or one that just doesn't get so hot. I don't know. My computer sounded like it was starting to take off. Now it sounds fine. Alright, so that one is like that. And then the remaining... The remaining bit is can go all the way to the bottom and two from the top which means it needs to go not 84 but 72 20 by 72 <laughs> the laptops are made to catch on fire All right, that I think is the proof of concept. So I can get rid of this and basically just duplicate all of this. Merge layers. Every time I program something myself, it was a Windows app. Add some drag and drop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, how to make a game, render something. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's, it's really, it seems complicated when you look at it from, from, that, from that perspective of, of not really having done it before. You can be like, oh my god, there's so much to game development, and there really is, but if you break it all down into really small chunks, it can, re it can seem really simple. Like when it comes to rendering, for example, if you start with just one little area, be like, alright, I'm, today I'm going to learn how to render stuff. And then you just go and, and if you can learn how to simply get one pixel on the screen, you could do anything after that. You know, so simply mastering the pixel or or when or like if you want to do physics just just getting things to move slightly around without any kind of friction and stuff like that at first just start with movement you know break it all down into small steps it really isn't too it's not overwhelming unless you unless you try and do all the steps at once so baby steps yeah and salad dogs is saying yeah there's a lot of overlap there there truly is. There's tons of overlap. Okay, so now I need a bunch of slices. Wait. Yeah, totally. Pixel.x plus equals one, right? That's physics for you there. The simplest physics you can do. Mm hmm Yeah, finding documentation, especially when it comes to Apple. Uh, and their lower layer stuff. Lower level stuff, I mean. Congratulations, Morglod. 185 points. So now I need a bunch of layers that are going to go everywhere. 
much easier time with that on Windows and Linux. Yeah, I think you will. Yeah, totally. They do. They got great documentation for what they want you to use. But for their lower level stuff, they're like, we don't want people using this. We are not going to document this at all. And uh, you know what? Let's just make it really hard for them anyways, If even if they do figure it out on their own. Yeah, they are. They are. You can go look up anything. NS Alert, NS Window. It's funny to think that all of that came from when Steve Jobs got fired, from, or not got fired, but resigned from Apple and started Next Step. And now Apple today is is so much based on Next Step. You strike it, right? Use Sprite Kit, which, and now, or use Swift. Just use Swift. Right. Yeah, the pure logic for some uh, moves could be okay. Yeah, where to start, totally. Where to start, yeah. How to connect it all. Yeah, now you need, yeah, it can be totally overwhelming that way when you think of it that way, yeah. So yeah, I guess my recommendation is just to start with whatever excites you. Like if you if you get excited by thinking of of being able to do rendering, then start with just rendering. I know, right? You don't want to get locked into the platform. <laughs> right? <laughs> Apple sees the reason. Of course they do. What do you guys think about the future of Apple? Is Apple going to keep on succeeding and being awesome now that Steve Jobs is gone? Or will they start to fade away and fail? Will they remember who they are? Or will they forget once again? Right? Rendering just a triangle. Apple's awesome. <laughs> Did I say that? I, I did say that. Jonas, Jonas, the future is ripe. Thank you, Blackrock Boner. Blackrock Boner, that's awesome. Where does hey, where does Blackrock come from? Is that is that a um is that a Burning Man reference? I know. All right, thankfully all this is all done. Well, not done, but it's in place. Okay, so we've got all these different, 
all these different um, slices. Now I just got to name them all. But I don't know whether that means they've changed for worse or it means that my perspective on things has changed. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, more like World of Warcraft? Oh, oh, okay. World of Warcraft. Black Rock Mountain. I haven't played World of Warcraft myself. Um, I, I did. Oh, I, I did play it once with a friend for like a, an hour or two, but I never really got into it. But uh, that's cool. So what is what does Black Rock Mountain look like? Wait, well, I got to see this. My question is basically: Does Black Rock Mountain look like what I think it does? Where's, where's Zilton to name all these slices? <laughs> oh shit, this is dope. Dang, that's epic. This is the coolest mountain ever. I can see why you'd name yourself after this mountain. This is super cool. Make all the sound effects. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a Fallout New Vegas reference. Okay, so to name all these, this one is going to be zero. Um, these three, these top three are going to be zero, one, two... Three, four, five, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, three, four, five. Just as they probably were already. You're kind of an Apple fan. Lately, they seem to go back to their pre Jobs rails, right? That's what I'm wondering. I'm thinking they might do that. They go to their, forget what made them good. They used to have a ton of products, and Jobs said, nope, make three and make them perfect. Now you have three iPhones, right? You cannot say which one's the best. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about the Apple Watch. Ah, uh, I, 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 I feel you, Arcane. I feel you. Okay, that's eight sky three. Right, that's what that should be. Okay, eight sky three. Wait, I might need to add a, like a zero to this. So th this would be three zero. This would be three one. Three two, three three, three four, three five. Three six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, no, that wouldn't work. So there'd be threes, three zero zero. Might need to be three zero zero. <laughs> the Ma Apple Watch. What? So that would be three zero zero. This would be three one zero three one one three one two three one. This would be three two zero three two one. Da, 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 da. This would be four zero zero. Yeah, this is a lot of frames. Well, not a lot of frames, just a lot of numbers. Okay, this is 8 Sky 300. This is 310. No, wait, no, 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 damn. Well, yeah, 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 that's right. Right, yeah. Wait, but this last one is gonna need is it would be nice if this was three zero zero and this Oh oh no this doesn't need to be three zero zero because this is this is zero, this is one, this is three one zero. And this one is three two. No, this one is two zero. Okay, 
That just needs to be 30. And this one is 20. This is 21. This one's 22. 23. 24. All right. Yeah, welcome, Black Rock Boner. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Two, zero, one, two, three, four. This one's one, one, zero, one, 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 two. Man, the mouse would be easier. Okay. One, 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 two, one, three. This is going to be quite a tedious little moment here of doing all these, but once it's all said and done, this should be, this turned out to be a, a system that is, this is like a universal system. This can work for any type of ground texture to overlay sky on top of ground. It doesn't make any sense to do it this way, from, but it does. No, I still have the same mouse and it did, the frayed wires are got me the other day like it's the mouse stopped working i was like no and i like tried to sort of like squish the wires and it worked again i'm like yes i don't have to buy a new mouse yet this mouse is from 2008 i think so this is an eight-year-old mouse and it's 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 scroll wheel thing went out like a year into its life All right, this is four zero. Don't replace it until song re releases. Sounds good. It doesn't make any sense to do it, but it does. Ah, uh, right. The shit I say. It's funny, funny shit. I'm glad. I'm glad to be entertaining. It's funny. It's it's really funny trying to actually code or like make art or do anything technical and talk at the same time, it is hard. Not to try and defend myself, I think it's actually funny as hell too. And I love I love making quotes. But um, yeah, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, y'all should try it sometime, just to see, just to see what it's like. Just try, just try sitting at home and coding and talking out loud everything you're doing. I know they were so totally constant. <laughs> quote, we got a quote of the day. All right, so this is eight sky eight. Yeah, eight. Okay, this is eight sky eight zero. This is one, two, no, two, zero. Yeah, this one's eight, one. Eight two, eight three, eight four. All right, and this one, this one's zero, right? Zero one, two, yeah, zero. This is zero, zero. Your magic mouse is held up nicely. Well, good for you. Man, I wish mine had it for, mine. For, you know what? I had mine on a boat for a while. I lived on a boat for many a year, and it <laughs> wrecked a lot of my electronics. You'd probably hear yourself say, "I'll clean that code later." <laughs> I say that too. I'm always like, yeah, one day I'll go back and write this better. It's time to replace it. Oh, what? It does rechargeable? What? They put the lightning port on the bottom? 
Yeah, yeah, this is a solo project, yep. Nice, BlackRock, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I like to say it is a it is a one man team here. I'm developing this as a one person, but I'm not alone. I'm not alone at all. I have you guys to bounce ideas off of. You guys provide a lot of ideas for the game. Like it's great to get on here and like you know start a new or show a new boss I'm working on, whatever. And people are like, hey, why don't you give him this kind of attack? Like uh, like the other day, Boogie was like, you should give the fire boss guy some fire spiders, and it turned out to be a really cool idea. You know. It's fun. To, it's, so I'm, what I'm saying is, I might be solo developing this, but I don't. I don't feel in any way alone in developing this at all. It's kind of a group idea, almost. So wait, this one's five zero. Did I do these right? Oh five, oh four. Yeah. Okay. Five zero. This one jumps to six zero. Six one, six two, six three, six four. All right, this is um seven. Oh, mighty and magic. I didn't know there was a difference. Oh, the wireless. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Mine's the mighty, the old school Mighty Mouse one without, with it's corded, you know? Not cordless. Oops. Damn it. Seven, two. Seven three, seven four, seven five. All right, let's get down. Can't believe this is all this, this is all done. Excellente. All right, so I can render this finally. This is a bunch of new tiles for these are all no shadow eight sky. All slices. All right, and we should have a bunch of new files here. So exactly what I'm doing, I'll show you here. I'll show you what I'm working on. Actually, I'll show you right here. This is this is kind of a good example. Um, so I'm making um, I'm making sky tiles um, for different types of ground textures. So this is um. The way these ground textures work is this is all this is all one sprite right here. That's all merged together, right? The ground, this horizontal plane, and then the and then the wall part of it, this vertical plane, is all the same sprite. But I've got two other systems for doing ground. There's another system where I do one gigantic sprite for the ground. Like the sand texture, for example, is one giant sand texture, and so that becomes the horizontal plane. But now I'm trying to figure out how do I how do I do that for the vertical plane, right? How do I make sky look really good for um, and as deep as I want, you know, really deep, right? Like lots of tiles deep. And um, I thought about this all weekend. There's like I was like I could use a mask sprite. I could use um, you know, lots of different solutions came to mind, but this one right here of doing all these tiles in this crazy way I just did just now is actually the most universal system because I don't have to layer any more sprites together. I don't have to use any kind of masking. I don't have to use any kind of tr shader magic to trickily do it. It's just a simple system. So basically, what, I'm just making it so that sky tiles can look really good and really deep, even with custom ground textures. Oh my god, who would put the charging port like that? <laughs> that person should be fired. It probably catches on fire. 
<laughs> That's probably why they did it. Because it catches on fire. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Okay, so now I'm going to write the code to put this all together. Because all these tiles are now ready. I think it should still have the existing tiles, though. Do I have a portfolio? Yes and no. Um, my portfolio, I guess you could just look at my website. But my last video game was uh, Hero Bash. So if you go to wizardfoo.com, this is my website. Um, you can look at my last video game, which is called Hero Bash. It was a complete financial failure, but it was a successful video game. I think it was a really fun video game. Um, but it was, like I said, a complete financial failure. And it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about how to market games on my own. So after failing with Hero Bash, I'm like, okay, I need to start a Twitter account. I need to start marketing my game every single day. You know, so basically I learned my lesson and started making Songbringer better. And I made this with my brother, or not my brother, but my, my longtime friend and game developer. Um, and yeah, we spent two years making this and worked on it full time for all those two years and basically made nothing from it. So it kind of put me in a bad financial bind. So hopefully Songbringer can put me, get me out of that financial debt and all that craziness that came along with risking all of my credit card credit on making Hero Bash. The fact that the three and a half millimeter jack will, go will be gone, what? In iPhone 7 and it's gonna use the lightning port? No, don't, really? Really? You can't charge your phone while listening to music? That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> Voice of Grog, what's up, man? Yeah, no, I've, this is my first project as a solo developer. So, before I've always worked in teams, or like, yeah, I've always worked in teams, basically. My last video game I made in a, in a small team with my with my one friend, so it was a team of two. But in the past, I've worked in bigger teams, you know, teams of eight, teams of twelve or so. Um, yeah, and I took a long break. I took I started making video games in 1994, and I published my first game in 1995, and then I took most of the 2000s off, and I was like, I don't want to be a game developer anymore. And then finally in the 2010s, I'm like, okay, I kind of want to be a game developer again. And so I started making games again. So I really don't have, I have a huge gap in my, what would be my portfolio. That's a good question. You have to use proprietary headphones? You probably do, huh? That is bullshit. You, you really? Really? iPhone 7 Pro scrapped. They always launch in September. Wait, does it uh, does it look like that now? That's kind of cool that they actually have the screen all... Is that really how it's going to look with the screen all the way out to the edges? I think that's kind of cool. Oh, right, Jonah? That's what they'll do. <laughs> okay, Apple's awesome. <laughs> Voice of Grog isn't surprised. While the saga of whether or not the new iPhone will have a headphone jack has been make taking up many tech rumors columns. What? This this sentence does not answer my question at all. Okay, but anyways, so apparently it's still just a rumor. Anyways, if that really does become a thing. If they use USB-C, they're good at creating their own market. 
Yeah. Ah, the pros and cons of Apple. We can talk about this all day. All right, so I'm going to go to create sky tile. Okay, so let me run it. And we'll go to the right area. Yeah, it's always the same time. Every September they do their little launchy deal. Okay, so I want to go to level level style 9. Oh, I want jib back. Let's get jib in here. Wait, let's, let's play with Bell. Okay, here we are. So this is the sky. This is this is Songbringer, the ship Songbringer, um, and here's the sky tiles that I want to work on. So now I just need to work on the ordering of these sky tiles so that it draws them in the right order. And then once I've got all that ordering going and the programming of it finished, then I can go and actually draw all these and make them look really really cool. So this is just a proof of concept here where I've got this white to black gradient, and I need to just hook that up here in the game so that it does a smooth gradient whatever the tile is that it's using to start this whole gradient stuff. Yeah. I know, I know, totally. I still have an iPhone 4S. I'm like in the iPhone dark ages. Okay, this is where we're doing tile-based sky. So basically all it's doing is is like overlaying, it's overlaying these sprites here, or the sections of this sprite here. Um, it's overlaying chunks of it onto the existing ground texture. So this is a this is one big ground texture for this ship here. And then on top of that ground texture, it's putting these sky tiles. Okay, so we've got the frame number, and then we need so we're gonna have like another number right here. So there's two numbers. One is the style number, and one is the the depth number. So we need to know the depth of this. So how many tiles deep is this piece of sky? Which means we should loop over the Y. So YY is going to be Y minus 1. No, 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 we'll go depth. Depth equals zero to start with. Thank you, Blackrock. Dungeon of the Endless, yeah, I played that one. Dungeon of the Endless is sick. They have great pixel art in that game. Yeah, I have, I have many, many influences on my, on my pixel art. Um, I guess I didn't really play enough of Dungeon of Endless to really make it an inspiration, but just looking at their art, it really is very inspiring art. It's awesome stuff. Right? When they remove the floppy or the DVD. Yeah, you know what? I still, I still buy the external DVD drive every single time. You play Dungeon of Endless too? I need to play some more of it. Oh, I finally bought, I don't know if who was recommending this the other day, but I bought Momodora uh, Requiem for a Dream, the new the Momodora 4, and started playing it last night. It's awesome. I love it. Momodora's cool. I finally got to be able to turn into a cat. I'm like, yes, I can turn into a cat now. 
So depth equals, well, depth is already zero. Depth is less than height for sure. And this is tile current x, and then this is y minus depth, k tile sky. You haven't used the DVD in years? I haven't either. I don't think I've actually used my freaking DVD drive, my super external DVD drive thing in any of the years I've owned this laptop. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, totally. It is a great time to be an indie dev, but the thing is you really got to be you really got to break into that indie dev scene now. If you want to be an indie developer, you got to you got to break into the scene and keep your ground, you know? It's like you got to be an indie developer and be a good indie developer and then keep on being a good in indie developer. What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Yeah, Arcane's saying not every indie dev is that lucky though. That's what I'm trying to say is like there's a there's a real there's less barrier to entry than there ever has been for making games, so that so it is a great time to be an indie game developer. But at the same time, there's a higher there's like a higher quality bar than there has ever been because there's so many people releasing crappy games. It's like you got to have a really really good game to stand out, and you have you have to have good marketing. I don't know what the hell am I trying to say. All I'm trying to say is if you believe in yourself and what you're doing as an indie developer, you can do it. You can you can start from complete scratch and build up your own name as an indie developer. But you've got to know that all I'm saying is you gotta know the, the hazards that are out there, right? It's not just it's not just all shits and giggles and cakes and cookies. You know, you gotta like you gotta sail through the waters and be smart about where you're sailing. Depth plus plus. So we already know the current tile is sky. Which means depth should start at one. What? No cakes? <laughs> <laughs> just delete your game. Yeah, I just give up now. There's no cakes. No, what I was trying to say there's it's not all cakes and cookies. There are cakes and cookies, but like there's a lot of like cakes that they made out of rocks too that you might chip your tooth on. Just gotta be careful about which cookies you're eating. Some of them are laced with crazy chemicals that'll make you trip out bad. What about pie and ice cream? Uh, there's all, there's plenty of that. Plenty of that. That's why there's Indie Apocalypse. Yep. And that's why I wrote an article about Indie Apocalypse. I guess all my ranting and raving I already got out. Why am I trying to rant and rave more? Depth less than height. This. Yeah, okay. That should give me the depth. So if you're going to eat cake, nibble it first. Yes! That's what I'm trying to say. Nibble your cake first. Just a little bit. Make sure the cake isn't a, isn't actually a rock. And when that comes to video games, I'm talking about testing the waters of your game first. Before you eat the entire cake, make sure that people are... And this is if you want to make money with your video game. If you want to actually be a successful financially video game developer, an indie game developer, you've got to make sure that people are going to buy your game before you spend years making it. 
<laughs> I'm sure there's good advice in there somewhere. You know what I mean? If you so the 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 indie apocalypse, the the horrible situation that can happen at, with an indie developer is you have this great what do you think is a great idea, and maybe it is. Maybe you have a great idea, um, and maybe maybe your idea maybe your idea is just slightly wrong. Maybe like in the in the public's eye, yeah, you got to listen to your community exactly. Maybe that's what I'm saying is like. If you the, the the nightmare situation is you spend four years of your life making a video game that no one buys. That's the nightmare. And to prevent that nightmare from happening, all you gotta do is test the waters and prove that people will actually pay for your game before you make it. And the simplest way to do that is to crowdfund it. If people are willing to pay for your idea before you've finished it, that's awesome. You've proven that your game is worth your time. That's all I'm saying. In nerd time, in computing, how big is a nibble? Well, it depends on the scope of your project, right? If the scope of your project is, okay, this project could be like a four-year project, then a nibble would be like four months or whatever. You know, just like 10%, I guess, is a nibble. <laughs> how big is a nibble? It's 0.5 bytes. Boogie, I'm clapping. That one deserves claps. That was, that's a good joke, dude. Oh my God. Yes. From the three point line. From the half court mark. I thought a nibble was four bites. It's not a joke. Really? Wait, what? No way! What? What? I didn't do what? My whole world has just been shattered. A nibble, which you can spell in like a million different ways is a four bit aggregation or half an octet. What? <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. You taught me something. You guys teach me stuff all the time. This is this is one of the most ground shaking things I've ever learned. I feel like if I didn't know this, what did I know? A nibble is just one hex digit. So a byte is two nibbles. Oh my god, really? So, okay, so somebody in 2014 claims that they made this word in 58. Wow. A table of nibbles. That's crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. That's crazy. All right, so we've got depth. Now, depth minus minus. And then this is percent D for depth. Okay, so let's check this out, see what happens. Set a breakpoint, figure out what's going on here. You're, leading, you're learning from a book, it's called Hackers, Heroes of the Computer Evolution. 
Let's check this out. And the man, we now start calling 16 bit blocks mouthfuls. Uh, good reads. Here we go. It's cool. Nice. Okay, this is tile 613, which we don't have visible yet, damn it. 613, that's like, what did it get for the depth? This is it, it was depth zero. So the format is gonna come back as eight sky Wait, depth was, oh, depth was two. Oh, unless it's the top. Oh, okay. Oh, so I did this wrong. I did this backwards. Depth is supposed to be the other way around. I'm going to start telling people file sizes and nibbles now. Do it. It's hilarious. Depth starts at 1. Depth is less than height. If this is tile Y plus depth. Depth plus plus. Okay, so let's let this run. So I can see what Tyler is talking about at first. Oh my god, it looks like it might have actually worked. You can see from this tile right here that it's got three tiles high and it seems like it worked, but these two didn't. This messed up somehow. And then this one messed up somehow too. Okay, let's see what's happening. Oh wait, first of all, what's 6-3 gonna be? Half a meg has a name? 500k, what would that be? So is, that's like... How many bytes is that? A million? Or is that a billion? That's a million, right? Yeah, it's a million bytes, about. So a million bytes of food? Is that like a... A multitude's... Nibble? Like if Jesus broke a fish... Turn it into two fishes, and then into a million fishes. It'd be a Jesus nibble. Does that, does that work? That's not even funny, is it? Two million nibbles. It's two million nibbles. Yeah, 500,000 bytes, right? Yeah. Okay, that's why it's two. Okay, that's that top left corner there. So I want to set a breakpoint, but only only if x is six and y is greater than h two.
All right, this is x6, y13. It's the one on top, so it should have a depth of zero. And it does, good, it has a depth of zero. Which means its format is gonna be eight sky, number meaning it's frame number zero. Oh, okay, so the next thing is that if it's if frame is k dir northwest or frame equals k dir north or frame equals k dir northeast. This is um, top row of frames has one. Has a max depth of one. So depth equals clamp by depth is zero, basically. All right, else. What's my favorite games of the last 10 years? Oh, this might be for everybody. Please, let's make it for everybody. If everybody, please shout out your top 10, top five, top five games of the last 10 years. Mine are Sword and Sorcery for sure. I love Sword and Sorcery. It's a dope ass game. Of the last 10 years though, dang, that, that goes away. That, there goes like lots of my choices. Cause I was gonna say Super Metroid, but that's like 20 years old. Legend of Zelda, which is like 30 years old. Sword and Sorcery is new, though. I love Sword and Sorcery. Um, Axiom Verge. Axiom Verge is sick. South Dogs is like, pass? What? Axiom Verge is pretty awesome. Hyperlight Drifter. I'm going to throw Hyperlight Drifter in there for sure. Because that game is a... That game is a classic. I wish the gameplay was better. They could have done, but their art is amazing. And it's still better than most action RPGs from my childhood, seriously. They did an amazing job on this game. Sims 2? Axia Verge, yes! What else, what else? I really like the Silent Age. That's, an, that's a point-and-click adventure game, which is really cool. But yeah, I guess I'd say Axiom Verge is probably my top. No, Sword and Sorcery. Sword and Sorcery and Axiom Verge. What about you, Blackrock? What about you? What are your top three? Felix, what's up, man? Infernax? Yes, it's pixel art. Oh, nice. Huh. <laughs> yes, it's got a game wizard. This looks good. Cool, I gotta keep this on my radar. Give <laughs> piece it was back in 1988. I guess they don't have a Steam page yet.
Oh, they're still on green light? You got Bioshock, Dark Souls. Oh, they already got green lit. Okay, cool. Good. Nice. I can't wait to check this out. Bioshock, which one's that again? This isn't this is a triple A game, right? Whoa. I haven't played this. Portal 2, Bioshock, Borderlands, Limbo, and oh, Machinarium, yeah. The Tomb Raider reboots? I didn't know, I didn't even know they did Tomb Raider reboots. Yes. She's all bow and arrow style. Papers, please? What's that? A dystopian document thriller. Denied, approved, really? Cool. You like any pixel art? Me too. Thanks, Felix. Inside. Is this from the same makers? Oh yeah, it is. Follow up to Limbo. Oh, okay. I didn't know they made a follow up. Papers Please is great, really? It's cool. Oh, okay. It's just called Tomb Raider. Please don't touch anything. I love the title already. This is like Simpson style red button. A brain-wracking game about bathroom breaks, screwdrivers, and nuclear explosions. So is this fun? <laughs> is this all there is? Is this a red button and you press?
Oh, it gets progressively more difficult. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it's not just this, right? It's not just... Oh, it is. Okay, I see that it, this, like, little display starts evolving. Ah, okay. It does get hard. Yeah, I'm really liking Momodora too. That was a good one. At first I was kind of frustrated. I'm like, man, my PlayStation controller doesn't work. But then of course the Xbox 360 controller was fine. So it was all good. Clamp by so this one is gonna be depth has to be at least uh, oh wait oh they all start at zero then they go to this one goes with depth max of four I think yeah sky two four eight four and six four Else, I think this is a depth max five. You should consider taking a day a week or maybe a day every two weeks to stream a game. I should, right? I should. Yeah. I could play Momodora right now. Or like Hyperlight Drifter or something, or Axiom Verge, play it again. Hell, I don't know. That sounds fun. Yeah, I think that's right. So now it's clamping all the depths based on how many. Dewey, playthrough stream. I definitely have to at least do a playthrough stream on Songbringer. I'm kind of waiting until all the bosses are finished, and I'd like to actually do a play of Songbringer all the way through the whole game. As fast as possible. Speed run. Any percent. Maybe even a world I already know. I don't know. Let's see what happens there. Still the same problems. Well, this this side works really good here. Those three frames are excellent. Here, maybe it would help if I put some weird pixels. Oops. Ips. How do you even optimize the game? Uh, you mean optimize or play balance? <laughs> I love that. Um, well, if you mean if you mean optimize, then you it's a lot of like coding, nitty gritty work of, you know, looking at your looking at your um, profiler and identifying pieces of code that need to run faster or pieces of graphics code that need to run faster, and then just figuring out how to make them run faster, and then doing it, and then making sure your game didn't break by doing that optimization that's the optimizing process and then there's you know if you're talking about play balancing then you just kind of just got to play it and then you know make some tweaks play it again see if it's see if it feels a little better 
I'm sure there's people that got better suggestions than that on how to play balance, but. Profile, profile, profile. Yup. And profile the profiler. Why not? While you're at it. All right, once this system's in place, man, I can't wait to just draw these tiles and make them look really good. <laughs> it doesn't do any good if your profiler isn't optimized. What's profiling? I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what profiling is. Let's show it. I'll show you this out here. So Apple's got a... It's a tool, right? First of all, a profiler, or prof profiling is a way of using a tool called a profiler, which identifies pieces of your code that, or, yeah, basically based pieces of your code that can be more optimal because they're not performing very well. So, um, this is Apple's profiler. This is a piece, like kind of a part of Xcode, but it's actually a separate app called Instruments. So, and there's a lot of different things you can profile for, right? You can profile like your allocations, um, your memory leaks, your GPU, the energy your app's using. But what I'm using here is the time profiler. So that's just basically shows you how much time. So I'll start profiling. This is gonna run the app, but it's watching it's watching Songbringer in detail. It's looking at every single function of code. And it's gonna show me exactly how much time it's spent there. So I'm gonna wait for about 10 seconds here and then I'm gonna close it. And so then what, this is what I do. I typically just select the same amount of time every time, right? This is pretty important. You gotta make sure your duration of time is the same so you can kind of figure out what can be more optimal. And then basically this just shows you every single one of your functions. So I'm gonna go close it off here at render because I'm not really interested in the rendering part. I'm more, I'm gonna show you more about like, uh, let's look at, this is where it's updating. So here's, this is where it's actually running Songbringer's code right here. So this little bit is the renderer. So this is Coco Studio X rendering the scene. Um, but this little bit here, everything underneath tick update um, is is Songbringer. So this is the render system. This is the game scene. Here's the profile system, collision system, health system. All these take some time, right? And so what your goal is your goal for profiling is to go and look at find the pieces of code that could be more optimal and then optimize them. Yeah, this is a pretty convenient tool. I'm actually, actually, this is a pretty good tool. Instruments. I'm really happy with how this, how this tool is. I, I guess I never really appreciated how awesome this tool is. It's pretty good. It's like, for example, the other day, or this is many, many months ago, but I was optimizing the move system, and the move system was taking up way too much time. Like, oh my god, you know, it was something like 800 milliseconds or whatever out of a thousand milliseconds. I'm like, that is way too much time I'm spending in the move system. What's wrong here? So I basically just wrote some code and figure out how to like in the move system, uh, make it more optimal. But really all the profiler does is just identify pieces of your code or it helps you identify. You're the one identifying, but it's the one showing you where your code is suboptimal. Okay, so now that I have those frames all like with the stuff on top, well, it kind of depends on your style as a coder. With Songbringer, at least, I've, I've been constantly releasing the game, so everybody's already kind of expecting the game to be in a polished state. So I kind of have to optimize as I go. But if you're, if you're developing a, a game and you're not developing it kind of in the public eye, kind of like how I am, you can get away with optimizing it just at the end of the project, as long as it's not hurting that hurting your your testing of the game. Okay. So 
here's why this one is working because it's using the center tile. But these aren't working. The northwest one. Oh gosh, I gotta I gotta see every one of these tiles. Or at least it would help to. Oh, it was probably using this one here. It does. It is satisfying when you fix them. Oh, that explains why some of the big early access games are killer on the CPU. Yeah. Was Starbound really? I never really I never played Starbound. It's on my list though. What a successful game. Starbound has like two million sales or something crazy. All right. <laughs> Sissy two <to> sex. <laughs> the song, song ringer two and three confirmed. Okay, so there's the problem with that one. Northwest is followed by West 1. But wait, that should have actually worked, I think. And then Northeast is also followed by West 1. Hell, everything else is followed by West 1 except for Northeast down here. Which followed by Southwest 1. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> so wait, why does north, uh, northwest, and then west one? Why does that little combo not work? Got Northwest, which is a nice, pretty, fairly white. Oh, West 1 is down there. Oh, did I forget to do Death Minus Minus? No, I did it fine. What's up with this? Why would it have done... Okay, I need to set this breakpoint. For the second tile. And watch it. This should be the first tile, which would be Y13. If I run this again, it should be Y12. Right, so okay, this 12 one is the tile right below it. And it starts at depth one. If this is tile X, Y plus one depth. So this could to be should be depth two. And it is. And then it should break. Yeah, okay, so we've got a depth of two. And then we subtract that, we get a depth of just one.
What's up, Mo Max and Light Soda? Okay, so that gives us a depth of two. Oh, because this starts there. And then this one does too. So, oh, 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 oh. All right, this is all a little bit wonky. That's like that. That's fine. But this one is depth zero. This one is depth minus two. This one's also depth minus two. So depth is one at least. And then if that one was came out as two. Subtract it. Yeah, that should be fine now. I don't even know what's happening really, but I like looking at the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, that's how I felt about doing art for years. I would watch people do art and be like, I don't really know what's going on here, but it's cool to watch. Ag, now I have to say something. Oh, no, don't worry about it, man. You don't have to say anything. It's true. All he needs is interest. Okay, so these tiles are correct now. These two right here are good. But this one next to it... There's something wrong there. That should not be center. That should be... I'm gonna save that one for last because I think that's a special case. And internets. Okay, I'm gonna focus on this little section right here. That starts with the C, and then goes to another C, and then goes south. What is that? Secret there? What? There's a secret wall there. Great idea to create your own vision of what would be a good game is appealing. Nice. Well, you got the interest. Step one. Put your interest in the box. Step two. So this goes CC Southwest 1. Why is it doing that? C is right here in the middle, which, which, okay, I guess it could be. Why would it go C, the next one? <sighs> Isn't it? Spoilers! Oh, I spoiled the secret of that. This world, you guys will... This is world Xanadu, if anybody's... You know what? Hopefully this world will change by the time the game's done. Then there won't be no spoiled secret. 26 different engines? What? Oh, all that on the web you're learning? Yeah, definitely. If you're if you're learning to start learning programming, C and C plus plus C is an excellent learn language to learn no matter what. But um, I'd recommend Python if you're starting out. French is fine. Just stick to French and assembly. Lights out is like just start with assembly. It's way easier. Ooh, I'm starting to run out of steam. Okay, let's um, let's take a couple bombs here. Take a screenshot again. Have a look at this screenshot. Okay, I'm trying to make this tile. What should that be? 
It has no tiles around it, so that's why it does see. Oh, this is all based on what's around it and stuff. No, no, it's totally not. This is depth. This should be depth one. And this should be depth two. And that should be depth three. Okay, so I want to look at X5. Why is it not giving the right results for that? Hmm. Man, how long have I been streaming? This is two hours. All right, all right. I got to get going soon. Got to get going soon. I'll try and fix this bug first, though. Is it possible to eat too many grapes? Because I think I'm close to what's humanly possible. <laughs> I don't know. You probably are at the limit. Wait, is there a Guinness Book of World Records for that? So the first one has a depth of one. That's what we expected. And it has a frame. Oh, that's the important part. It's frame eight. Okay, so frame eight is always gonna be this one. When you get diarrhea, like instant diarrhea. <laughs> what, the most grapes eaten in one minute is, in one minute is 73? In Mumbai? Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. That's more than one grape a second. So that depth of one gets clamped down to zero here. Which seems fine. And then the next time it comes through here, this is X5, Y7. This time it has a depth of two. But it still should have a frame of eight. Oh, and of course that's why it puts zero of both of them. Oh, okay, so frame eight is a little bit of a... Frame eight is a custom, is a different situation. I hope, I hope this is right. I think this is how it should be. So frame eight is depth minus one. Red seedless. Mm. W1, S1. So it looks like the C and the W1 parts are right, but then the S Southwest one is a little wrong. C. West one? What? How could that have changed the frame? What? Not because they're dumb, they're gone, but because my wife couldn't believe how many I ate. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, it's your own fault! It's your own fault.
No, there goes the record. <laughs> this is Grog. What? <laughs> uh. Okay, what? What is this? Why did this change the frame? I don't get it. Ah. Uh. All right, BlackRock, see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. This is 5.8, frame 8. The next one is 5.7, also frame 8. Why would it change? Why would it do that? Frame equals number of compass directions. And the format becomes eight sky, pound one. Key becomes eight sky, O oh one. Eight sky, oh, wait, no, then the key became eight sky, two, one. Ah, oh, man. Lost in the lost in the maze of this system. I know this system's gonna work eventually. You just gotta get get through this maze part of it. Where am I right now though? Why why is it changing the frame number there? Did I name these right? Maybe I maybe I misnamed one of them. So it went C W one. Oh that is eight two one. That's two zero, two one, two two. Oh yeah, so C and W one. That is that works. And the next one, depth one, depth three, but frame one. So that depth is going to come off as one. And then its key eventually becomes one, one. <laughs> then you can read about yourself being stuck to the toilet <laughs> while stuck to the toilet. Yes. You can be charm and sponsored. You could like, you could toilet paper people's houses for free. It wouldn't cost you a thing. second does that mean that this one should be minus one perhaps there's no way he could lose at this 
Oh no, there's Google results for that? Okay, damn it, that made this one work, but that one fail. tiles work together. Now that one's failing. And that one's failing. Obviously, I haven't figured out the mathematical part of this. I think in theory this... My theory is that this theory is correct. Boyfriend toilet for two years? Holy crap. Holy crap. Alright, I don't got any more steam left in me. I gotta call it quits on the stream. Get some dinner. I'll be back later though. We'll talk about sitting on toilets another time. What's up, Rober? What's up, Rober? Welcome to the stream, man. Sorry, it's just about to quit. It's quitting time. Beep. Yep, I'll be back later. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably be finished with this whole sky ties, sky tile system, and then you'll see some sick, beautiful art on these sides of these walls instead of these weird little northwest thingies. I'm gonna go eat a nibble. I'm getting a nibble. Yeah, I'm gonna go get four little bits, get a couple nibbles, and then I'll have a bite. Ha <laughs> ha But yeah, hey, well, once again, um, thanks for watching everybody. I had a lot of fun chatting today. It was hilarious times. And uh, I'll be back next time. Thanks, Boogie. Thanks a lot. It'll look a lot better once these sky tiles are finished. <laughs>